evening, everyone. Christina Fetters, her family and friends say the last few months of her life were incredibly important. KCCI's Laura Nichols joins us live outside the Iowa Board of Parole building to explain why. Kevin and Stacy, Christina Fetters was only 14 years old when she was convicted of murdering her great aunt. That was back in 1994. Well, she served 20 years, but the past few months, she was actually out of prison. That's because the Iowa Board of Parole here actually granted her compassionate release in a rare move, and that's because she was dying of cancer. I promised her when she came to hospice. That I would be there. Jamie Ross has been by Christina Fetter's side since she entered a Des Moines hospice facility in December, and she was there Sunday as her friend passed away. It was hard, you know. This is somebody who, when I met her, she was just a spitfire, so full of life. The two began their unlikely friendship behind bars as teenagers. Jamie has been out of prison for more than a decade. But Fetters was given a life sentence for killing her great aunt. We started a lot of programs in the prison uh, together to be able to give back to our community. After 20 years in prison, Fetters found out she was dying of stage four breast cancer. And in a rare move, the Iowa Board of Parole decided she could die in hospice, a decision that wasn't popular. I understand that a lot of people don't. They don't get it. It would be a, a perfect world if anybody that ever sinned or committed any kind of crime were just monsters or villains. But this is real life, and that's not always the case. Seven months later, Fetter's family and friends still believe it was the right decision, as she was able to reconnect with loved ones on her deathbed. They've had time to sit and actually get to know each other again and to forgive one another for everything that's gone on. Now, Ross and several other friends recently got tattoos in memory of Fetters. They say she actually inspired them to live a better life. Now, Fetters' funeral will be held on Saturday. Laura Nichols, thank you.